Unlike humans, computers don't complain when asked to repeat a task hundreds, thousands, or even millions of times. Well, as long as you ask them the right way. You can automate tasks in MATLAB with a for loop. A for loop allows a command or collection of commands to be repeated a specified number of times. For example, in a room of 20 people, what is the probability that at least two people share a birthday? One way to get an answer would be to fill a room with 20 people and see if anyone shares a birthday. Then repeat the experiment for a bunch of rooms and count how many of the rooms have a group that shares a birthday. The result will be more accurate if we repeat the experiment many times. A for loop is the perfect way to automate this. A for loop uses a loop variable, which changes value each time we execute the for loop. The values of the loop variable are defined by this vector. Here, our loop variable k will take on every integer from 1 to 10. The commands in between the for and end keywords are executed once for every possible value of k. Let's walk through what happens in our birthday experiment. First, k starts off as 1, denoting the first room. Inside the loop, we generate 20 birthdays for the room, one for each person, and check if there are any matching birthdays. Based on the result, we start calculating the probability. Next, k is 2, and we repeat the commands to update the probability. Then, k is 3, and k is 4. You get the idea. The loop is repeated a total of 10 times, and we start getting a fair idea of the probability that at least two people share a birthday. If we want more accurate results, we can simply increase the number of rooms to 100, or 1,000, or even 10,000. Notice that the loop variable is just a vector. In fact, if we had entered this vector instead, the loop would have executed exactly the same way. Now, does this mean k can be any vector? Yes, it does. Let's look at another example. If we want the loop variable to be 9, 1, 4, and then 16, well, just give it that vector. k will take on each value in order as the loop is repeated four times. The vector doesn't even need to be numbers. Aw, I do too. <laughs>